we are gonna do this pretty flower this time. And I took this picture in like 2015. And I, I'm super proud of how good of a picture I took. Because I didn't even have my, like my new camera. I had the, uh, the old Sony. So I wanted to, you know, just take an old picture, see if I can make it look a little bit gooder. Um, I like editing pictures of flowers and bugs. Not more than portraits, but probably more than portraits because I don't have to worry about like touching up the face and the skin tones and and putting all the the whatnot in the eye. Why do you keep doing this? Putting all the whatnot in the eyes. Um, I can really just focus on like color and light. So we're gonna do. We're gonna brighten it a little bit. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah. Pull that back down. See if that works. Oh, right there. And then, ooh, extreme. No, that looks terrible. Actually, maybe that looks good. Already, I've brought some crispy dimension to it. Uh, let's do a levels adjustment, and then let's push these in a little bit. Yeah, see how that looks. It's a nice, dusty look. I don't like it. Um, that's cool. Okay, just changing the threshold for dark. So before and after, I'm done. Just kidding. Let's get these flowers nice and oh, let's make them red. Okay. Uh, it's the hue and saturation. And we'll apply it as hard light, and then we'll colorize. And we'll do maybe like a like a like a nice. Mm, not getting red. I'm just getting. Does it need to be darker? Maybe. I think so. Ooh, no. Um, maybe that. I think that looks pretty okay. So we, we want that, but we want it only to apply to the purple, not the green and the yellow. Those can kind of stay the same, honestly. So let's try this. Let's brush it on at first. We'll see if this works. You know, I thought about anytime I have to do anything like a lot of brushing or, or speckling or whatever, um, just kind of, you know, making it like two times speed or something. I thought, hey, maybe that would look like Coolio or whatever. Um, see, already I can tell I've got that like little, little outside bit there. I don't, I don't want. Um, maybe I can just do that. Hmm. But yeah, like speed it up whenever I do the um, the edits like this. Or when I'm doing like, uh, what do you call it? Like touch ups. With my last photo, where I went around the shirt and did all the little white dots on the shirt, of like dust and whatever. Like why wouldn't I just speed that up, you know? Kinda using the shift click feature right now. I'm, I'm really just playing around with this to see if it's something that I can kind of get down with. I don't know how down with it I'm getting. It's not looking that good, honestly. Uh, it looks cool. I mean, once I get that, like, it just kind of color it in from there. It looks neat enough, but it's just the, the outside. I really don't know how to combat that and make it look better. Maybe if I, I don't know, pull it out of the the darker areas? Maybe that'll work. Uh, because the green's not really much darker than the purple. They're both kind of the same luminosity. So maybe, just maybe, I can try that same effect 
So, okay, but we'll do, <clears throat> uh, we'll do this thing and we'll grab that and then we'll colorize it. No, is it not gonna, oh, cause it's, boo. We'll try this anyway. And then push that up to kind of a magenta. See, we're getting a very similar look here. And then I think if I pull this out a little bit, it'll give me the rest of the flower too. So getting a lot of little places in there where it's not giving me what I want. Mm. I've definitely got to experiment with this more. Because I don't know. Get rid of that. Like these little dots right here, they drive me crazy. Is that because it's like a different color? I mean, that's like mostly doing it right there. But obviously, it's not doing it, you know? Um, and I can't just keep it zoomed out like this. Like that's not gonna work. What if I do, um, I'm gonna change the blues and push those up too. Yeah. Maybe not. Oof, I don't have any idea what I'm doing. Yep, there we go. Now they look diseased. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I might have bitten off a little more than I can chew with this one, huh? Let's fix it. Let's, let's go back to normal. Oh, did that put everything? Okay, that's probably best. Um. Let's see. Maybe I can just try to continue doing a better job with this or no, I should probably just do a better job with it. How do I get that to look less bad? I really need to know. If you have any suggestions, leave it down in the comments because see, there's no like making that look good. It's just, it's just a different, different flavor entirely. Like, see what I mean? There's just no, uh, do, I, does, do I just blur it? Like, what is this? Is that, see, cause any, mm -hmm. well, maybe let's try this. Maybe if I do it like that, cause I really want these flowers to be a different color so I can watch some like botanist look at it and just cringe and have no idea what they're looking at. But let's do this so I'm just outside of the edge here, right? So I don't have any of the dark line, I'm outlining it, right? And then I'll add a separate layer just to handle that, I guess. So let's go around and try that everywhere. <laughs> Did I use the right term, botanist, herbologist? I don't know. What is a person who studies plants? Flowers, more specifically. No, it ain't no dang flowerologist. Flower, uh. <laughs> I'm kinda getting ahead of myself in trying this. I am using 50% flow because, well, you know what? It just felt right, so we're going with it. Yeah, I could probably skip over me saying most of any of this and then just do, you know, speed it up any of the parts that I'm doing monotonous things like this. But I also like to hear myself talk. Now that's not the case, I just, I don't know, I'm not, really much for watching sped up videos. And then I have to turn like the music volume up and everything. Also, is the music too loud? You don't think the music's too loud? Well, like too soft, maybe? Maybe they wanna hear the music more. Maybe they just want music 
instead of my voice. See, that's that's where it stops looking so good. It's down here, maybe if I just... I think that looks just fine. Um, Cause that's like the blurrier part of it, you know? And I can't go over like that because then, then it just looks silly. Which I did just completely go over that part there. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I can actually move it up to 100% now. And then let's harden the brush a little bit because I am inside the flower now. I already did my outlines nice and soft the way they need to be. Let's go over it all, and then we'll take it away from those areas. I think it'll be easier to take it away than it will be to push it in, probably. I don't know why this is one of the most challenging things I've ever done. <laughs> because it really should not be that difficult. And like, I can't just do a bad job, you know? I can't just do it and then be like, ah, you know what? I'll be fine. Because, no, it doesn't work that way. It's gotta be precise. Ooh, I have an idea. Let's try this. So let's let's do this. Make it a really uh, pink color like that. Cool. That's the master. And then we'll go into the greens. And wait, what is that? Plus 67, plus 31. So if we go into the greens and pull it down 67, we should get the same color we had. Ish, and then maybe pull that down a little bit, just affecting the greens. And then the yellows, we'll do the same thing. We'll push those closer to yellow. Ooh, see, that's already looking pretty fantastic. Oh, was it just that easy the whole time? Am I just stupid? All right, let's duplicate this. Take that layer mask and set it all to black. Oh, because it's not visible, right? Um, and what are we at? Yeah, colorize. So if I just, nope, what was that? Can we not, can we not do that thing exactly? Hmm. What am I uh, looking at here? Did I, did I do something like stupid? You know, my brush is really hard. Uh, let's try that. And that's kind of helping. We're gonna colorize that though, and we want it to be the same shade of pink. Ah, <gasps> ooh, ooh, I'm getting there. I think I'm, yeah, you know what, that works. And then we'll kind of get a little bit there. Nope, 20%. That's what it was, it was also really high percent. Do that, pull that lightness back down. There, nope, don't know what that was. Why does that look so bad? Honestly, maybe I just need to do like a magenta layer and then just grab a really, really nice pink here. I don't know, kind of place it in. It seems like as good an idea as, of, as, as good of an idea as any. <laughs> Can I words? Hmm. Soft white? I don't know. No. 
I would want a purplier color maybe. Seems to be working. Cause like I, I don't want it to go away. I just want it to be less like, you know. I don't know. Noticeable, I guess. Like, I mean, these were the imperfections in the flower anyway. But the fact that I've made any edits to it kind of makes it look like I'm doing a bad job, which is fair. Although I will say, with just this, I think I've done a pretty, pretty decent job. There's just that kind of blue on the outside. Maybe we can take the blues and make them magenta ear. Right, right. Um, that looks gross. Hmm. I really want these lines here. I don't have a purples, do I? I have magentas. It's not really affecting it. Um, what are you? You know, cyan, right? Oh yeah, you are. Look at you being cyan. Okay, let's do that then. Let's push that out and desaturate it. Maybe that'll help it blend in better to the green. I think it did. Blues too, yeah, blues maybe, blues. We just take the brush and we paint out some of these little any bits. I'm sure it'll look fine. No, it won't. Um, Cause you know what? <laughs> the flower already having been like this purple color reflects the light on the inside to be purple and then just makes this super purple. I wouldn't say this is the best my video's gone so far, but I'm trying to keep these within like the 30 minute range if possible. So, <laughs> you know. they're already that color. Well, yeah, 20% should be plenty for what I'm doing right now anyway. And then we'll, whatever this little uh, stoma, no, step, something, that little wiener part, <clears throat> what is that called? As you can tell, I don't know anything about flowers but i'm i'm sure it's significant i'm gonna say stoma but i feel like that's not right i'm only quiet because i'm really trying to think of what that thing's called anyway i think that's a, like a decent enough job at, at turning the flowers red now let's see if I can just push that opacity in enough to get not a bad color. I don't know if hard lights can make that better or worse. Yeah, you know what? I think that looks good. Go me. And let's put these under the, no. Put these under the adjustments because you know whatever reason that loud like creaking is my chair by the way <laughs> if anyone picks up on that it's uh i mean that's what it is honestly this looks 
pretty good without this harsh curve. So let's pull the light down a little bit there and add some darkness into it. Cool. Uh, with the leaves, I kind of want, we're gonna play with the hue saturation again. And we're gonna grab sort of this area. We're gonna darken that. Well, not darken, but we're gonna desaturate it a little bit and push it up. Kind of like a cyan green. Maybe before, lime greenish, and then after, it's like dark green. Like if you took like a green crayon. Is it crayon or crayon? No one's ever explained that to me. I mean, like I know it's it's crayon, but I don't know why we just as kids were like crayon. <laughs> like that's just the way we say it. Um, yeah, before and after. I mean, honestly, uh, yeah, I kind of like that. Really, I just took a good picture in the first place. Five years ago, come on. I usually look back at my photos like, wow, what a scrub, but it's not bad. Honestly, even the, the crop is, is like, I probably could have got more of the top of the flower there, but you know, it's not like a bad composition. You got like the, the nice flower here, the flower in the darkness, and then the blooming one, and then there's like this little, little hairy guy there, but um, I don't think it was a pretty decent, pretty decent photo. Let's try maybe one more artistic effect. Just see how we like it. Um, we're gonna do that, and then this. And then that. And then, are you ready for this? I'm gonna turn it off because it looks really bad. Mm. I could see it having a thing. Like, I could put, you know. Wow. Didn't even try, did I? You know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna stop trying to type. Um, yeah, we could do that. And then, no. We're gonna make this white. Yeah. And then I guess we can, well, Arial Black is a very thick font. Let's find something pretty. Let's do, uh, we have like a nice cursive. Mm. <laughs> nice. Oh, you know what? I have a better idea. Wait, where's where's my little curly font? Come on. Oh, there we go. Let's give it a shadow, because obviously you can't just have straight white text, right? Drop shadow. Yeah, you know, honestly, that looks pretty good. And there we go. No. <laughs> there we go. And then let's just, let's do this too, actually. Cool. 